Hello, Wins. Welcome back. I am Arumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play some more of our campaign in uh, Europe Universal's 4, the Ideas Guy campaign. So, Novgorod is apparently full occupied up here, which does interesting things if you conquer his capital, because his capital will teleport and still be occupied. So, he'll instantly be at 0% war score. And here's what I was thinking, is that uh, I, I would kind of like to have him as a vassal, I think. I don't have enough relationship slots, and this province, while it is very good, is... Uh, gonna have really trash autonomy and lots of unrest and it's the wrong religion it's gonna be difficult to convert it's lots and lots of things and I've got a relationship slot so I'm I've been leaning toward do we not have a mission to like convert something that'd be great I've been thinking about maybe we we try to end this war in such a way that Novgorod ceases to exist once they end their war with Denmark and when that happens then I can release him as a vassal, and then we can turn right around and try to feed him land from Muscovy in a reconquest war. Which does seem uh, rather appealing to me, I think. So, uh, if we are to do this, then... If we do want to loot that land. I do want to see if we can possibly knock this guy out. Maybe get some money, because I, I still haven't embraced the institution. It's 265 ducats, and I'm at 171 right now. He's probably, at this point, trained maybe two or three troops, or he's completely being wrecked by Pskov in Sweden. So yeah, I guess we just peace out now, then. Go maintenance down to nothing. Yeah, we're gonna take both, this, both of these. He says no. He says no, that's too much. Excuse me? I have claims on this. Why would this cost me diplo points? Oh, right, because I was looking at vassalizing him. No, I just want these two things. 92 ducats, and uh, a Humiliate would be great, if you don't mind. I have the Humiliate as well. No? I guess we have to wait then, because the Humiliate would be spectacular, because I, uh... Yeah, I could! I could actually vassalize him. I could just straight up vassalize Novgorod, and if I did that, then... I would get pulled into a war with Denmark and Muscovy. But, I can't recall off the top of my head if I would be considered the war leader or not, and if I'm not, then that means that... I'm just fighting Denmark and Muscovy, for no reason at all. If I am, then I could defensively call in Poland-Lithuania, but if I'm not, I'm dead. So I'm going to go with the better-to-be-safe-than-sorry approach, and just not. By the way, we should probably protect trade again. If we're going to create Novgorod as, as, as a vassal, I don't really need claims over here. I'm, I'm not going to be allowed. I'm just not going to be allowed. To, uh, to stay friends with, with Poland-Lithuania for very long. Let's send, um... Like, five of these guys down to Odev, since he's now in my war still. He got separate piece from Denmark, but he's still in my war. Probably gonna separate piece that guy, too. Should get some troops over there. a chance that he might actually have a couple, like maybe one merc right now, because he is still in my war. He may have merced up. You putting a unit out? You know what it might be? I think I, uh, a while back, I was trying to make the graphics. I was still getting this issue where it was like, chunking every now and then. Ambient objects. I've not seen the little blacksmith anymore. And it makes me wonder if I disabled a graphic option that tells you when someone's training troops. I might have. I feel like that's that's something you used to be able to take advantage of quite often, and now I just never see it. But, assuming that there are no actual troops, then I suppose we could just do a no-maintenance siege. Poland has agreed to share their maps with Crimea. Novgorod wants peace. The answer is no. This will be a rather cheap siege, hopefully. Unless the... Unless the winter kicks in harsh down here. I'm not really sure what kind of winter we're going to see. We're definitely going to have a bad one up here. And actually, the... This guy's not even available as a... Uh, as a siege target just yet. He's still in the war. Are you... Denmark declared. Denmark wanted... Uh, what did he want? Kola. He's got the war goal. I mean, he could peace out, in theory.
I mean, we're already at no maintenance, and my aggressive exp or my uh, my war exhaustion is pretty much non-existent. Aragon has uh, <laughs> really upset the balance of power down here. Aragon is not friends with Portugal. Castile has a modifier to prevent them from attacking each other. Aragon, not so much. He doesn't like that guy. So Poland, or sorry, Portugal is going to die in this campaign. By the way, we probably have that institution. Yes. And at this point then, it's just money, which is just... a peace deal away. If I were to peace you out, you would give me... no humiliate. Those 90 ducats are kind of necessary. We would get the money from this guy. I wonder if I could vassalize this guy. I've got no claims or cores. Not particularly appealing as a vassal. Only 9 development. Don't really like how you don't get to see their ideas until they actually have them unlocked. I feel like they should show all the time and just be gray and turn green when they're activated. That way you could actually see what they are without having to go to the wiki and look it up. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying. We could actually totally skip Military Tech 7 now. We've already won this war, and I have no future wars that I can actually win easily. I think we wait. I think we, if we just wait till we have our god generals before we attack Muscovy. So it's a uh, bit of a standoff here, isn't it? That disease outbreak's no fun. Don't need to spy on Novgorod anymore. Do probably want to spy on Denmark. Since we're going to end up at war with him, probably. We both want the same land. Annex subjects has expired. Foreign contacts. Our diplo rep just went up. Doesn't really affect much. On speed 3 right now. Nice, that was actually a pretty fast siege. All, all in all. What kind of money do you have? Not much, because the other guy just took it all. Terrifying vassal. Um... Enforce your religion. Gets me some prestige. I did kill a couple heirs, so sure, let's make you our religion. And, uh, you have no rivals, huh? Darn. Will I remember to cancel military access? Possibly. I think I will. I want the extra two prestige. Let's wait till we're at least out of that province. How is it that I'm allowed to go here if I don't have military access? Like, I can't go there, but I'm allowed to go here? Excuse me? That's kind of weird. If I get enforced military access, I'm just kind of concerned. Alright, we suddenly have 98% now. Oh, right, because of the siege. There, duh, I knew that. Um... Yes, give me enforced military access. I'll take that piece. We should still have very high war score against Novgorod. We get a little bit of money. We get uh, military access. We need to cancel military access right away. And yeah, now I'm, st I'm stuck over here in Muscovy. Weird. I have no war score with you, but you still won't accept white peace. Which would probably be better. I ha I have had some really weird things happen with with military access in both this campaign and in my Ryukyu campaign. This this whole like I can go here. Why can I go here? It's it's probably the province I came from or something. And it's like letting me go there even though this level 1 fort technically shouldn't project a zone of control. And then I end up with units that have no military access that are not black flagged, that are stuck in, ex like, zone of, zones of control that shouldn't even exist. I don't get it, man. It's weird. Muscovy won't give me military access because he's hostile. At least if I go up here, maybe I can get black flagged, possibly? 
Want to peace out? Alright, I think we're ready to just end this now then. Super peace. You'll give me 124 ducats. You'll be humiliated. You'll give me Ladoga and Novgorod. I'm going to keep at least one of them. Well, actually, I can't keep at least one of them. Unfortunately, if I try to release Novgorod, that's right. I'm going to have to release all this crap. So that was a bad idea. I can't do that. But I want the province. It would be better for me if Denmark pieces out first and just consumes all of that over there. So I guess we just stay at war then. We'll just wait and see what happens. Papal controller is the papal state. We are not near the cap yet. Embrace is an option soon. Having some more prestige would be great. The speed of succession in Denmark. Well, we are Catholic, so it is a thing that could be done, but it's unlikely to ever happen. I think the problem is that because he doesn't have a, actually have any forts occupied, he doesn't really have enough war score to feel like he can get what he wants or something. This guy not being separate piece though, Muscovy probably wants that province and expects it as part of the call to arms. And he can't demand it and get the land that he wants because he doesn't occupy the capital. He's only got 47 war score, which is not enough. So, it's just a standoff. We just stand around, we just wait. Point 0.7 per month. So, in eight months, the Renaissance will be here. Hoodstick is out. Yes, so they took that separate piece. Hoodstick finally said yes, which may give him enough war score here. No, now he has even less. All right, cool. It's cool, it's cool. Speed three then, or sorry, speed four. We have enough money now. We've got 16 favors with Poland. X seven, no tech eight yet. There's a peace deal. Novgorod seats Kola to Denmark. Novgorod seats Cargopol to Muscovy. They pay Denmark 10 years of war reps and 120 ducats. Damn, I needed that money. So Novgorod's got uh, this stuff up here. All right. In this case, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take I'm going to take these two provinces for myself. Do I really take Novgorod? I think I do. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take it because that way it doesn't cost me any diplo points. Part of the war goal. Then I'm going to vassalize the remainder, and he has no money course, you cannot humiliate him at the same time, sadly. But for 22 dip, quite a, quite a bit of aggressive expansion. The only two people who will join the coalition are people who are already my enemies anyway. Um, ooh, that would be so nice if we could force him to become Catholic. Darn. We don't want to make him give up claims. We don't want to take his money. Yeah, I think we do this. And that way we can still get him as a vassal and try to return this land in the future. And then I'm going to give this province back to him. Well... I hope that doesn't ruin the autonomy in the province, though. But either way, I, I have no releasable vassal over here. That's not Novgorod, so... I want to do anything with this, then I've got to do that, and I do want to do something over here. I need a relationship, so sounds good. Peace. You are now my vassal. Welcome. Trade league has been disbanded. Uh, now we can either return province or just transfer it back to him. I will grant you a, the province of Novgorod. <laughs> Lowers their liberty desire by 13%. I could core this land. 25 months. We already have minus 30% from patriotic propaganda. He's going to be pissed. I'm behind time on admin tech. 
but it's got a fort and it's yeah I think we keep it I think we keep it because it's just such a large portion of the trade power up here it's 12% right now and that's at 75% autonomy yeah let's keep it let's keep them both this one's already part of a state so weirdly we can already assign it to a a guy we will give it to the clergy I think Novgorod, not so much. There were no accepted cultures that we could accept to make that happen, right? Latvian, for the same culture group. Novgorodian could become accepted, so I could do that and then core it, and I could reduce the coring time substantially. And this is going to be a big part of our territory, so yeah, I think we will spend the Diplo points. Let's make... Uh, Novgradian in accepted culture. Novgradian is now accepted, which means it's only going to take 19 months, which is way better. We now have how much development? 174, and we've got four forts on right now, so that's good. Too many diplomatic relations. I've got military access through Lithuania. We can cancel that now. That was the wrong button. Quite clearly, we're going to need to improve relations with that guy. The guy who I, you know, just slaughtered mercilessly. Vassalized him, declared war on him, conquered provinces from him. Yay! We can rival Muscovy, we can rival Hungary, we can rival Denmark. Um, Poland probably has Hungary rivaled. Hungary's not really a valid rival for me. Muscovy, yes. Denmark, let's just face it, we're going to have to fight Denmark. Which means I now have the ability to embargo them both. Let's do this. We're going to uh, embargo them both right now. We're probably going to want to go ahead and brace the institution. Uh, we gained a little bit of prestige, but not a huge amount. It would be nice if it was cheaper. Might as well wait just a little tiny bit, though, right? That's not the province I was looking for. There's one more province that was almost there. Oh, it was that one, actually, yeah. And the spread rate is now slower because we no longer have a nearby friendly province with Renaissance. Probably because I rivaled you? No, my aggressive expansion gave me negative. Yeah, I was getting it from Sweden. All right, well, if it's not going to spread there, then what about the other provinces? 64, 57. She's saying it's not going to spread, huh? Yeah, it's not going to spread. We're just going to have to pay the price. Pay the piper. Conquer Stolp, achieve religious unity, protect against Denmark. That was the other reason why I wanted to give it back, isn't it? It's because I don't think I'll be able to convert it. Hmm. Where did this? It's only 43 months. It's surprisingly low. Let's just take this then. Construction and development costs go down. After embracing this institution, you will lose 89 dip and 325 mil due to a lowered maximum storage monarch point. That is kind of true. Uh, kind of. So we're going to take it. And now we need to immediately spend these points before the next time we spend this type of points. I think, I think that if I spend mil uh, admin points, it's not going to affect my military points. But we're going to go ahead and take admin tech. Please don't kill my military points. It did not. We'll take free thought. We now have the ability to unlock a idea group. We'll take military offensive ideas. And then rather than... Uh, get Military Tech 7, which I really would like. Uh, we're going to take Diplo Tech 1. Unless... Was one of my ideas going to give me a tech discount soon or something? No, we have no tech discounts. I've forgotten. I've already forgotten what my ideas were. Global Trade Power Plus, whatever. Yes, we want that. So, Land Leader Shock. First guaranteed pip. Woo! Next, recruitment time. Good. Next, uh, second guaranteed pip. Yay! And then soon we get two more guaranteed pips. So that's two guaranteed pips already. Sweet. Can't wait to roll my next general. Very exciting. Conquer Stolp or protect against Denmark. Have how many troops? 22. That's a lot. Uh, we should probably get that many. Now ahead of time on Diplo. Behind time on Mill by quite a bit. But we have guaranteed pips. And that's great. And we can pass this act. Which gives us more missionary strength. 
Chief Religious Unity. That's going to be a little tricky. Okay, uh, your subjects have high liberty desire. Yes, I'm aware. They're very upset. Uh, traveling Minstrel, gain stability. Yes. I will gladly accept level 3 stability. Thank you. Alright, Novgorod, when can I interact with you? On the 24th? I now border you more. This will be a state for me by the time we declare war on you. you want to give up the 100 spy network strength in order to just have some more claims, or would we just end up wanting to return territory in the next war? Probably return territory would be a better play. Although, if I make Novigrad too strong, then he will hate me. He already really hates me. I mean, he's going to hate me for a long time. Let's wait until we can improve relations with him. I'm going to insult this uh, Muscovy as well. I can't. Oh, right. Um... You? How's Poland doing these days? How's Poland feel about going to war with Muscovy? Poland's all about it. Poland's in debt. He's on tech 777. We would have to fight quite a bit. I think we probably don't want to do that quite yet. But soon! Maybe. Alright, we'll take a break here. I'll see you again in the next episode. As always, thank you for watching. I'll see you soon.